What's up guys, Creighton here from LogicLounge.com. One of the most interesting questions that has been popping up about iOS 6 is where to get Google Maps. The native application has been removed from the App Store, but there's a way to get to it and pin it to your home screen. And today we're gonna show you exactly how to do that. All right, so to get Google Maps back, it's incredibly simple. You just wanna open up Safari. And when you open up Safari, you want to navigate to Google Maps. And to do that, you either want to go to the URL bar and type in maps.google.com, or uh, you want to go just search Google Maps inside of the search function inside Safari. And when Google Maps has loaded up, it might ask you to enable location data. You want to click OK on that. And then you want to come down here into this little box with the arrow. It's the center button right above the home button. And when you click it, a menu system will pop up where you can email, message, uh, add to Twitter, Facebook. But the main button you want to push is the one here in the center, which says add to home screen. And you want to press that and it's going to bring up uh, you to name the application. We're just going to call it Google Maps. This is the most simple and it already has an icon enabled and you just want to click add. And when it does that, it automatically adds it to your home screen right here. You can see Google Maps. You can click on it. It brings up Safari and instantly loads up Google Maps and it works just as if it's the native app. So there's no real differences between using this and using the native app. Now, of course, I'm sure we'll see from Google having an official application released in a couple months here. So if you're not a fan of the iOS 6 mapping application, you can go ahead and check this out. Again, just go to Safari, go to maps.google.com and click the center button here and then say pin to the home screen or add to the home screen and it will add the application to the home screen. Super simple, super quick. It works just like the native application. You can pinch and zoom. You can get directions as well. It's very simple and it's a solution to get Google Maps back into iOS 6. So you're not totally um, out of the water with this one. So maps.google.com, open it up in Safari, check it out. If you have any questions for me, email me, Creighton at logiclounge.com. You can also follow our social media profiles on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus, all under the username of Logic Lounge. And be sure to like and subscribe to this video. Let's us know that we're doing a good job. And until our next video, we'll see you guys later.